Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 9th of 2022 well, it is titled the asymmetric nebula surrounding Wolf Rayet star 18. So what do we see here? Well, this is the Wolf Rayet star known as WR 18. And that is a specific designation for it. It's also known by a catalog designation of NGC 3199. Now a Wolf Rayet star is an extremely massive hot star and these are stars that are very young but do not live for a very long time. So perhaps the type that will eventually become a supernova. Although that process even though these stars don't live very long could still take a million years before it eventually explodes. Now this was at one point because of the asymmetry in the nebula thought that maybe the star was moving in the direction of the intense nebula toward the right hand side and toward the upper right. Now we know that Wolf Rayet stars create nebulae as they expel out outer layers of material because they are not completely stable. So they are still in the process of formation and the intense amount of energy they produce can shove off some of the outer layers out into space. So it was thought that maybe if this if the star was moving up toward the upper right of the image, that that would account for the de the increased nebula off to the upper right and the decreased nebula to the lower left. However, as with all things in science, it changed things change as more information is known. So here we thought maybe it was a shock wave, but in reality, we're finding that it is not moving like as we thought. And it may be just the case that the material around that the gas and dust is not uniformly spread out. Now that's not something that we would necessarily expect that things are uniform, although it's often an assumption that we make in our models, because it makes them easier to calculate. So we tend to assume that things are spread out uniformly. However, if they are not, then there could be more material in certain areas, giving us a more intense uh, which give intense energy being emitted there. And while towards the lower left, there being less material, less things for it to plow in for the shock waves to plow into. And therefore, they are not near as bright as the ones toward the upper left. So here we are studying a very hot star called a Wolf Rayet star as it expels out material out into the interstellar medium around it. So that was our picture of the day for November 7th of 2022. It was titled the asymmetric nebula surrounding Wolf Rayet star 18. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be galaxy stretcher. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.